Hey guys, welcome back. So this will be our third video of the series on um, setting up uh, AWS light cell instances with a high availability load balancer. Uh, so in our second uh, video, we um, actually perform um, a setup that gave us the result of this. So uh, just to review, uh, we had one WordPress instance we configured the WordPress instance to connect to a light cell database, uh, thereby offloading the database activities from the, from the instance. Uh, in the previous video to that, we actually, um, set up, uh, AWS S3 bucket and configured our WordPress instance to upload media files and any other assets to the S3 bucket, thereby sending those files back to the end user from S3 directly. So again, we're offloading uh, the media files off of the um, WordPress instance. Um, in this video, we're going to do the final step, which is uh, uh, connecting a con connecting and configuring a load balancer, as well as uh, creating multiple WordPress instances, thereby scaling it horizontally or making it high available. Uh, for any kind of um, uh, uh, surge that you'll get on your websites. So in my next diagram, so this is what we will end up with after this video. We'll have a load balancer in front of two WordPress instances. Instances. So we already had created one. So I'll show you how to create a AWS uh, light cell snapshot and then build a second instance based off of that snapshot. And then, of course, you know, when we, um, uh, configured, uh, AWS, like, uh, the WordPress instance to connect to the AWS light cell database and then S3 bucket, the second instance automatically is configured because we took a snapshot of it. So, um, just to recap in this video, we'll create, uh, the second instance of our WordPress instance using snapshot feature. We'll create the light cell load balancer. Um, we're going to need to update the DNS record for our test domain that we're using and then I'll show you how to create an uh, SSL certificate using uh, the light cell load balancer feature. So at the end of this uh, we should have a pretty good uh, setup for high availability, high availability WordPress sites. All right so um, I'm logged into the light cell dashboard here and you'll see this is the WordPress instance we had before. So to create a, a snapshot and then an instance from that snapshot, what you'll first need to do is click on your instance. Go ahead and go to snapshot, create instance snapshot, and then click on this button. I already have one from yesterday, so I will just use that. But once you hit that, it'll take a few minutes and then your snapshot will be available here. Once it's available here, you have this menu option and it says create a new instance. Um, so this will take you through the new instance uh, process, except that uh, you'll have the ability to, um, uh, you won't have the ability to select a region and things like that. So instance location. So our uh, original instance is inside Ohio zone A. So we'll change this and pick zone B. Uh, that's one of the benefits of using, uh, doing something, uh, with high availability is that you actually want them in two different locations. In case zone A goes down, then both of your WordPress instances don't go down. You have your second instance that's still serving your traffic. Um, so we'll come down here, pick the free, go ahead and leave the name the same or pick your own name, create instance. And it's going to start creating my second instance. Um, while that's going on, we'll go to networking and create our load balancer. And uh, we'll leave all the same and then create the load balancer. Keep in mind the cost. It's about 18 USD, uh, US dollars uh, per month. Um, all right. So our instance has been uh, created. Our load balancer ha has been created. Oh, there it is. It's running. So now we can go back to our load balancer and go ahead and pick one instance, attach that, and then we'll attach another and we'll pick that second instance and attach that. So 
while it's attaching, I'm going to go ahead and pause here and then I'll come back once it's finished attaching. This usually will take a couple of minutes. All right, so both of our WordPress instances are attached. As you'll see, the health check has passed and uh, we're ready for the next step. So inbound traffic, right now only HTTP inbound traffic is enabled. So, and you'll see up here on our load balancer page, you'll have a DNS name. This is the DNS for the, um, uh, for the load balancer. And if we open up a tab, let's go back here. Maybe I need to copy it. There we go. Copy and then go here. You'll see that it's showing it's pointing to our WordPress site. Um, so let's go back to this tab and it's on HTTP. So, but we do want to enable HTTPS traffic. So before we do that, we need to actually set up, uh, our DNS. So I will go, uh, into our name.com and uh, this is our domain that we've been testing with wp.makesh.me and it's right now currently an a record pointing to that first wordpress instance that we have and that will still work um, so if you go to wp.makesh.me you'll see it's still working so let's go ahead and go to our name.com um, dns uh, settings page and i'm going to convert that to a c name so the way load balancers work is they don't have a single IP address. They just have a DNS and then behind the scenes, AWS, uh, performs, uh, its own balancing and, and, um, uh, configuration to mask the IP address. And so I'm going to go here. We're going to go ahead and delete this record. We'll create a C name record and we'll put WP in here and Go ahead and add the record. Uh, most likely, I mean, in our test scenario, we're creating, um, um, I'm creating a C name record for wp.makesh.me. What you'll likely be using is www. your domain name. So in your host entry here, you'll just put www. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me come right back, figure out why it's not, not, uh, letting me add the record. All right. I'm back. Uh, had a little glitch there. Um, but now it's fixed. I just had to re-log in one more time. So let's go ahead and copy our DNS name, go to our domain. I'm going to go ahead and delete this record, create the CNAME record. So there we go. CNAME added. And so now we're good to go here. And let's see, the next piece is requ requesting certificates. So Go ahead and create a certificate. Domain name will be wp.makesh.me. Of course, you'll use your own domain name. Uh, alternate subdomain names, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and hit create. And uh, I'll resume the video once uh, this step is finished. Oh, there we go, before I could say anything. Um, validation in progress. Um, one of the things that uh, Load Balancer will have you do is prove that you own the domain that you um, are entering in here and requesting an SSL for. So a couple of things it's going to ask you to do is create some DNS records for verification. This is a common method of verifying domains. So it's asking us to put this value, this name and this value as a new CNAME record for my domain. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Copy, go to our name account, hit C name. This is my host or name. And this will be the value. Copy that. Go here, paste, add the record. Invalid entry. Let's see, what are we doing wrong? I think this period at the end is not needed. Valid host name. Uh, let's see. Well, I copied everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's two periods. There's a period here as well. So what you don't need is this domain here. You just need the first portion of that this portion i'm guessing let's try that 
had a record. There we go. Yep. <clears throat> and name.com fills in rest. Your domain registrar may be a little bit different uh, than name if you're not using name.com, but just make sure you know how to add a CNAME record and then put those name and value pairs in here. And once it's finished validating, it should be able to issue an SSL certificate and configure it on the load balancer. So let me pause here and, and we'll wait for it to come back and I'll resume then. All right, guys. Well, after about a couple of hours, um, my SSL certification request and the verification of the domain is good to go. Um, as you'll see here, wp.makesh.me is verified and ready for use. And you can see down here, uh, requested on January 20th and then you can uh, see where it's valid f um, from and valid until and it will automatically renew for me um, after a, a month uh, you know after this time frame one year so we're good to go so the next step here is to actually enable it across our instances so down here you'll select the certificate so um, what this will do is allow if your visitors are connecting to one of your let's say your first instance of WordPress and and um, uh, let's say you have a, uh, an e-commerce site where people have to log in or a membership based WordPress site uh, or for any reason if your customers have to log into your uh, your website enable this and what this will do is make sure the system will ensure that if a person starts on one instance, they complete their entire session on that one instance. Uh, we have this going, and let's see. I think that's it. If we head on to our domain again and hit enter, we're still able to see it. And if I go here and type in HTTPS. All right, guys, I think I found the issue uh, that we were having with HTTPS. As you'll see now, I'm on HTTPS and everything is loading just fine. Um, and I would, I should also be able to get to the WP admin, which was giving me problems before as well. So let me tell you what uh, happened. And this may or may not be an issue for you because uh, I believe this is specific to the, uh, the problem is specific to the Bitnami um, WordPress um, uh, application that they that uh, AWS LightCell uses to build out WordPress uh, instances. Um, so there's a bug in the well, I guess I shouldn't say it's a bug, but the configuration for Bitnami's application is that it, um, it's it's geared towards um, uh, you know directory or giving back the content in the uh using the protocol that the request was made in so let me just give you a brief uh overview so in the networking tab under load balancer you'll see here that your instances will receive traffic from this load balancer on port 80. so what happens is that when a visitor um, goes to your site so they'll hit the load balancer but they'll be using https in turn the load balancer contacts the WordPress instances uh, over HTTP and that's what's described right here your instances will receive traffic from this load balancer on port 80 so um, it's receiving traffic on port 80 and so what the Bitnami application the WordPress application will do is serve the content back out over the same port 80 which wouldn't work for us because we're we're trying to access content using HTTPS so there's one configuration that we needed to add to our WordPress inst installation. And uh, if you're doing this from scratch, I'd suggest do this uh, from the beginning so that when you create a new instance, uh, that configuration is copied over. So let me just show you what it is. We're going to go into our WP config and right here above the setting where they have the home and site URL uh, uh, defined so this these two lines right here come by default um, when you create a bitnami wordpress uh, instance on light cell you need to add these two lines this one line here and this one line here right above it and that will take care of the 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 issue that we just faced um, so this I believe this is a an issue that's already um, mentioned to Bitnami um, so maybe in their new uh, future versions um, of their WordPress uh, instance 
they will have this incorporated but until then uh, just remember to add this and I'll, I'll add this uh, specific item um, down into the show notes of this video so that's it uh, you have to do it on your first instance as well as a second instance so don't rem uh, forget you'll do it on uh, every instance that you have of the WordPress installation and that's it um, so with with that I think we're done with the video and we're also done with this series of setting up a high availability WordPress instance using Lightcell and the two components database as well as uh, Lightcell database as well as the uh, Lightcell load balancer and um, uh, in the future you, right now we configure two instances but you could add as many instances as you want all you have to do is create a snapshot from one of the instances and um, set that up in the once it's created once the instance is done you'll just go and attach another instance um, to your load balancer um, so hopefully with this setup you should never have a, a, a scenario where your WordPress site goes down whether it's due to traffic or due to AWS having issues with uh, one of their zones um, so with that I think we're done with the video if you find this useful, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and in the comments, if you can provide any other ideas um, or suggestions for future videos or a series, uh, please note them down and I'll try, to, um, I'll try to consider those. So until the next time, thanks for watching.